Hey you guys, welcome to another Legacy Cube draft. I'm about here about to make my first pick, which I do believe would be Jace the Mind Sculptor, just because he can win games by himself and blue is pretty powerful in cube. Um Other than that, I guess I could take like a Thran Dynamo. No, Jace is really just the best pick here. He's just the best card in this pack. I'm happy to get him. Ooh, I do like Waterfront Bouncer. We're going the Reanimator plan. Rainstorm might be pretty good for library manipulation, but I have the Jace. Um, I could go into a Rampy Root and try and get value up as Woodfall Primus, but in Triple Green, I don't think that's happening if I'm actually serious about playing the Jace. Uh, maybe Garrick Relentless, and that could still be Blue Green, because he's fairly strong. And then maybe the Temple of Mystery will wheel, or I'll get some more fixing. That's pretty tempting, actually. But Brainstorm seems pretty good as well, so I'm going the blue route. Hmm. I kind of want to take the Garrick. I'm going to take the Garrick, and we'll see if that pays off. It kind of does. I get the Thrag Tusk. So I can take Thrag Tusk, uh, Misty... Legacy's Allure. I could forgo Garrick and take the Wrath of God. Kadama's Reach isn't bad either. But Thrag Tusk is very powerful. So I think I'll take that. Hmm. So here we have Cyclonic Rift, which I like because it's pretty decent removal. We have Sneak Attack. I guess I'm not too solid in these other colors that I might not take it. We got Acidic Slime, which is fairly, fairly good. We got Summoning Trap. It's pretty good in green. I'm, I'm leaning towards taking the Cyclonic Rift, even though I know it's not like the awesomest pick. I guess I could take Hunt Master and maybe like dip a toe into red, but. Actually, I think I will take Hunt Master, because right now with what I have, like maybe I don't want to play the Jace. Hunt Master, I think, is one of the strongest cards in this pack. So we'll move him to the sideboard for now, but we'll keep him as a a, a maybe. Primal Command. I think I want to start getting some stuff where I can manipulate my library. Duplicate's one of my favorite cards of all time. I really like that card a lot. But Avenger of Zendikar is a game winner. I'm passing all the ramp and taking Avenger of Zendikar. Maybe some of their ramp will wheel, though. Avengers in the car is so good. Mm. I think here I'll take Bird of Paradise. Just for some early ramp slash fixin'. Uh, if I take Bird of Paradise, mm. do I also take mm. Vindhorn Helves? Mm. I think so. Now I'm sort of like this green ramp deck. I think that's all the mana ramp dudes I kind of want, though. Now I wish I'd taken the Kadama's Reach and stuff, but well. Uh, Fauna Shaman goes in this deck fairly well. Yeah, now I'm just like straight mountain green. <laughs> Kadama's Reach, unfortunately. I'll take the Temple of Abandon, though, as fixing, and so I can maybe play this Hunt Master. Let's see how this looks. This looks pretty good. I think this looks pretty good. I guess the Phoenix at this point, since I'm not really in blue anymore, in my opinion. Um, hmm. No, I'm still kind of in blue. Maybe I do take the Legacies a little bit, but it is double blue, so that's a little, a little hard. Oh, and we're getting, I'm getting lucky with some of this stuff. 
Uh, Perforus doesn't seem that bad in this deck, mm -hmm. but Arc Trail is removal. Mm -hmm. I'm still gonna pick Perforus though. I guess Enzic Stomp Power, Sideboard, Obstinate Bayloth is not bad. Curse Scroll, okay, whatever. Maybe I just maybe I just want to keep Enzic Stomp Power at this juncture. So I got Noble Hierarch, Flame Tongue Kavu, which I like a lot. Ancient Grudge and Cultivate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do like Flame Tongue Kavu a lot, a lot. I think he's one of the best mm -hmm. four drops in the format. But Cultivate could help me mm -hmm. get there, so I might green card. I think I'm going to take the Hierarch, because mm -hmm. it always is you know, just more good fixing. So here we got Gore Clan and Scavenging Ooze. I'm a little light on two drops. I like the skews a little better. It helps me win the long game. I need, more th I need three drops now. Like I have a deciding lack of three drops. Perforous might not make the final deck. Perforous and Ash Cloud might not make the final deck. But Perforous might be put Perforous combos with Vindra's in the car. What's this? That doesn't seem bad. Hmm. Kind of wish I was still in blue. Ashiok is super, super good. I'm not sure how I feel about Chandra in this deck, but I think she's the best card in the pack. And Planeswalkers are pretty powerful. So Terracidon, I'm probably not going to cast him anytime mm -hmm. soon. Incinerate doesn't seem mm -hmm. that bad. Just as a removal spell. I do like Terracidon. I just don't know if I'm going to be casting. Well, I guess I got a lot of ramp. I'm going to take the Terracidon. We're going to try and live the dream here. Uh, Yabby Maya Elder is actually probably exactly what I need. Mm -hmm. And he's a 3 drop. Yeah, Yabby Maya Elder was the, per is the, the best pick there. Ugh, I don't like this pack for me. What card in here is bad for me? I guess Sorum. I guess Nighthawk. I don't know if I can beat Nighthawk. So yeah, we got some ramp. We got a bunch of four drops. Two of which are double red. I'm actually not very happy about that. But then we got Frag Test, Avenger, Thrastodon. Ooh, okay. Wild Mongrel or Blood Braid Elf? I'm thinking Blood Braid Elf. Although I don't really have anything that great to cascade into at the moment. But Blood Braid Elf is pretty powerful. Oh good, some fixing. Get that. I still really need some... Oh, some three drops. I'm gonna make this work. some more three drops and two drops. My four drops are really good though. Mm -hmm. I think these are, these are very good three drops. Mm -hmm. Alright, back to here. I think I'm going to take the Cultivate as the, my three drop. Not that exciting, but it'll help me accelerate in some of these later cards. And I really need a three drop, so I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. It's probably the weakest 
it's probably not the strongest card, but being able to get my red mana seems pretty important. So yeah, started in blue, now I'm in red green. Go figure. I guess Gorklan mm -hmm. is the best pick here. He just went he can just mm -hmm. win games by himself. He's not a bad card. I just didn't want him over the scavenging is. So far I like this deck for the most part. I, I still some I still not sure about these three just straight up red cards. Mm -hmm. Like Chandra's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean they're all they're all like pretty solid. Mm -hmm. I just I don't think I'll ever get Perforos you. Oh, well actually with those maybe. Um Hmm. I guess I'll take Hester might, because I don't really like either of these cards in my deck. But I think I'll pick the Pester might so that no one can like combo off on me. Uh, Beetleback Chief's not bad. But again, he's like a weird, weird four drop. I might a weird double red four drop. I might not actually be playing. Let's take the value cards. No, none of them are my colors. Uh, Wild Mongrel, okay, not bad. That might actually make the deck. <clears throat> oh, I really have nothing to bring back my discarded stuff with. So, Courser is probably going to be the pick here. Although, Lightning Greaves is very good. And I have a Carpoosin Force, but I think Courser is the, the three drop this deck needs. I do like Zealous Conscripts a lot. Maybe a little more than Jiraga Tree Speaker. Although I think I should take the Jiraga Tree Speaker just because I need the ramp. But I do really like Zealous Conscripts. Now I'm gonna take the ramp. I think I need it still. I think four four of these four ramp cards is, is plenty, but well I guess technically five. Or maybe six even. But I wanna be able to play my fatties consistently. Ooh, Garrick Wildspeaker and Wall of Roots. Probably just exactly what I needed. I'm gonna take the Garrick Wildspeaker though. I'm gonna take out these red cards and see how my deck looks. We'll see if they make the final cut here. I still need some playables. Uh, hmm, Wall of Blossoms. Defender draw card. Or some things I don't have, like stopping ground or anything. I could take the fetch. I could take Molten Rain. Which one's this? That doesn't seem bad. I have 16 creatures. I think I like Wall of Blossoms a little better though. Might not have been the pick, but... Mm. Ooh, I like Phantom Centaur. That seems fun. Now oh, I got some good stuff to cascade into with Blood Braid Elf. I wish I had some bigger payoff fatties right now, though, but hopefully in this last pack I'll be able to get some. I think I will play Perforos in this deck. Do another Garrick. But I think Thrun is going to be the pick. Thrun is very powerful. Although this guy's pretty powerful as well. But I don't know if I need three Garricks. I have so many creatures in this deck. Nah, I think I want the Thrun. Thrun is so good. Crater Hoof, definitely, yeah. Just snap up all the game winners I can get. 
probably too late to grab a natural order, but that'll be fine. Can I be straight up three at this point? Still in the library, maybe. So here's between Wasteland and Sylvan Library, and I think I like the draw power of the library too much to not to let it go. Maybe I'll just be mono green. That'd be fun. Can I be? I have one more green card in my side for you here. Mm, I think I want the lightning green just because I have so many creatures. Nothing really for me here. Perhaps the smash to smithereens is a sideboard card. Mm, I guess maybe... What am I worried about here? I think the dictate and just sideboard it. Oh, we get the tracker's instincts. So that is even more of a reason for me to kind of want to be mono green. Master's a lot of value though. Right, I'll take the food card. Ooh, and we get deranged hermit. What does he do? Right, four one one green squirrel creature tokens. Alright, so mono green is Definitely a thing in my deck. So I could have 15 lands and keep it as is, and hopefully I have enough ramp that the 15 lands is good. But I feel like I should take out one thing. Maybe I'll just take out the hunt master and just be straight up green. I feel like hunt master can just win the game if I manage to play him. No, you know what? I am just gonna I'm just gonna be straight up green. I'm just, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna go for it, and then I can splash red if I, if I need to at some point. But yeah, 16 lands, but I have four ramps, Ugh, four, I'm four mana fixers. But yeah, I like this deck. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna go places with it. I think it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna go ahead and submit the deck, and I'll see you guys in the matches.